all right everybody welcome to another episode of unique adventures we are out here at bumping lake doing some visiting today we are going to give you guys a ruckus review um as you can see here on the right we are at bumping lake upper bumping campground we are going to pull in here i want to say there are 43 sites in this campground if i'm not mistaken we are going to go around we're going to give you that first hand view of uh, what the sites and the amenities are here now uh to just let everybody know this is completely dry camping up here they do have water you can fill up but there is no water no power no sewer so it's pretty much run what you brung um they've got uh, a couple of uh bathrooms around here in the area you know probably like four or five of them dispersed but either than that you are pretty much on your own for what you bring now over here left hand side here we got site number one looks like that's a pretty decent sized site I'm gonna let these people through here real quick there uh, I don't want to cause a traffic jam here so we got site number one looks to be a pretty decent sized fight 20 20 foot or so you got two here looks like a uh, little boat action here I'd say probably 30 foot there um, and site number three over there decent looking site you got potable water between uh, four and five here so yeah not too bad there good news I think with some of these sites here you could probably um, back up past the little bumper and get some extra footage that that rig there looks probably about 22 23 feet so site number six is probably good for probably a little bit more than that probably 26 27 feet or so Another good spot there, number seven, kind of outlooks there. We're going to give you our top picks of uh, what sites we find um, to be the most appealing here, and I'm going to tell you why uh, while we're going through. This is kind of a linear campground, so we're just going to go straight down through here. Another uh, setup of potable water. Uh, this I hear number eight looks to be a little short dips down a little bit You can probably do 22 23 feet in here. You might have to bury your tongue just a little bit uh, If you're bringing the trailer if you're bringing a tent um, Any one of these sites is going to be premium just like this site. Here's a little bit of a dip probably 20 feet or so so a little bit shorter but look at these views here this is amazing we're outside of natchez out here at bumping lake if you like the content so far make sure you hit that like button make sure you're notified hit that subscribe button so uh, you don't miss uh, any of these ruckus reviews that we're doing we try to do as many of these as we can we're coming up on spot number 10 this is my honorable mention for uh sites out here um there's a couple of sites that just beat this one but the ploy for this one this is why i like this one spot number 10 here look at all this real estate you have to you know just have to yourself nice peace serene you don't have a lot of people on the back side nor do you have people on the front side of you you're kind of in your own little pocket here and you got all this like campground space behind you here you could probably fit a couple tents if you wanted to not a bad spot number 10 this spot really just kind of stood out to me uh, so that's that's on the honorable mention list there are a couple of spots here that um, do take the cake though uh, but we'll get to those here in just a little bit we are coming up to site number 11 looks like right before 11 you got some potable water a uh, little bit smaller you can probably get 20 feet 22 maybe uh, but yeah look at nice picnic tables nice fire pits um, all established here I'm not sure what the price is probably like 15 18 bucks a night here so it's not bad you got 12 here it looks a little bit smaller 13 kind of goes up a little bit you could probably do 25 feet if you were in a trailer or something out there and 14 here probably a little bit smaller of a setup here i'd say probably like 20 feet or so got a bathroom right in front of 20 here no it's not 20 15 16 14 14 not 20 we're not near 20 yet 15 here a little bit smaller that's 
that's not going to fit a whole lot down there. 16 looks looks pretty good there. You could probably fit most of anything into that. That's probably like 25, 30 foot spot there. More potable water before 17 here. That looks to be probably about a 20 foot trailer or so. You see they're running their generator out here. Remember, no water, no power. Um, you know, you're just out here in, in the wilderness, which is not bad. Uh, 18. Looking to be like at least another 20 foot spot there. Run generators. Uh, 19. 19 doesn't look bad either. Probably can fit 25, 26 feet in there. Not a problem. Got site number 20 for here on the left. Now these sites are kind of bound up on each other here. Not a lot of privacy. Got 21. Hi. <laughs> we got 21 here. That's not that's not a bad site either. Probably about 25 feet. Looks fairly level. You might have to do a little bit front to back, but not too bad there. 22 looks to be a decent sized spot. You could probably do a little angling in there. You can get something a little bit bigger into that one. Nice spot. 23. You're going to want something smaller in 23. I can already tell. Look at that incline. You're going to end up bearing your jack if you're anything probably over 20 feet. We're going to pull over here for just a second. See if we're going to let some people by here. We'll talk about 24. They got a whole bunch of stuff in here. This site looks like it kind of dips down a little bit. Probably about a 20 foot side or so. But fairly wide. Look at They got double vehicles in there. Uh, and like I said, in some of these wide spots, you might be able to kind of shoehorn in there a little bit and get a little bit larger of a rig in there. We got 25 here. Nice big site. Probably 20, 25 foot trailer. Now here comes the, the prize of uh, this campground. 43, 44, 45. These are the top sites that Unique Adventures has picked uh, for campsites here. And I'm going to tell you why. One, these three sites are off on their own. So they're kind of off this side loop here a little bit. 43, I believe it looks to be a double site. I I didn't research this park before we came here. We're just up here visiting Bumping Lake today and figured, hey, let's do a ruckus campground review. But this site over here, it looks it looks to be double. Uh, as far as I can tell, which means you could you could probably fit 25, 30 feet in there. And this is 43. But what I'm gonna show you here is off the side. I'm not gonna get off the bike. But if you can see kind of over that edge there, you've got a view of the lake, western facing, you're going to get some good sunsets. This is why these three spots are, my opinion, the best spots at here at Upper Bumping Lake Campground. A lot of area, good fire pit, you got that view. That view is uh, worth the price of admission. Plus, these three spots, like I said, they are out here all by themselves. So it... Uh, makes it very secluded and look at that 43 spot you got 44 over here it's nowhere near there you got a bathroom in between which is nice so this is 44 you know not as good as 43 but you know you're gonna be able to park at least 30 30 feet if you could probably shoehorn sideways maybe a little bit bigger than that but you're still gonna have that view of the lake you're still gonna get that scenic view awesome awesome site and 45 down here on the back side of the loop we're gonna whip right through here where this uh, motorhome is and they they've got the million dollar view million dollar view of the lake great great spot it's uh this is a great campground out here. If you can run dispersed and you can you don't need any amenities, this is this is a great campsite. I believe you as of time of recording, I want to say you reserve these sites on recreation.gov. Um but yeah, it's uh and I want to say these sites open up 6 months in advance. Uh so 
great to be out here in nature. It's great to get up here in the woods. Uh, get to give you guys this content. Uh, so we're going to whiz all the way back down here real quick. And we're going to get to the rest of this campground. Like I said, make sure if you, you're liking this content, make sure you are subscribed to Unique Adventures. Make sure you're notified so you don't miss one of these awesome ruckus drops. Um, every site we go to, we try to do as many of these as possible. So trying to give you guys that content before you get here. Let's jump up. We're up to the number 20 now. 20 there looks to be a good site there at least 20 25 feet good open space there 30 is looking good was that 20 20 to 30 we'll have to check that on the way back this is 31 so you got 31 through 42 on this loop here that's not a bad looking site probably can fit 25 30 feet in there This site here, 32, looks to be a little bit smaller. You're probably more like 20, 22 feet. And then you can park your rig off to the side. And that's the other thing. You can park your trailer in there a little bit and then kind of shoehorn your, your rig onto the side there. You'd probably be fine. The other cool thing is you see that concrete bumper there. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually... Um, I will actually back up to the bumper and then put the last three or four feet of my trailer over the edge and just put my stabilizer jacks down. So that is a way that you can get away from, you know, getting a couple extra feet. But yeah, that looks good. And then we've got site number 34. These might have some access here. So 34 uh, river, uh, river lake access, 34, probably 25, 30 feet probably 25 uh, coming up on 35 looks to be a little bit shorter nice uh, nice truck tents there you're probably a little bit smaller there probably 15 20 feet there uh, and probably 18 on 36 here eh, no you could probably fit well, like 25 or so you got to dip up a little bit so you got to kind of account for that 37 that truck over if you've got a truck over that is the way to go um you can get those things anywhere in any of these parks uh us and travel trailers we got to be a little bit more strategic 28 this here looks like to be one of the longer spots here you're probably 30 35 feet maybe if you bump out the back side get those couple extra feet out the back you might be able to do that and we're coming around here got the bathroom another bathroom back here and this side here you yeah yeah you could probably get something fairly big in here this is 39 you got to deal with that downhill contention there and but if you can get past that, if you can fit your rig here into 39, look at all that space you got back there. That's uh, that's good stuff. Big, big open sites. You know, you're not crammed next to each other in like regular parks. Um, this is, you know, some of the ploy. If you can get out to these more open spaces, it's it's golden. This is 43. Looks to be, eh, probably come off the backside there a little bit. Probably like 20, 25 feet there. On 40 and 40 41 this looks like a double site and if it's not a double site park your camper in there sideways get like 30 35 feet easy all day long out of that site that looks good 42 this looks like 25 feet or so here um, it's a good looking spot not too shabby and then you got your dumpsters in a couple of different spots here let's catch this other uh, spot that I thought was number 20 uh, maybe it is maybe it isn't we'll catch it over here on the back side like I said if you're getting value out of this uh, let us know in the comments below too let us know kind of what you think if this is a go-to spot for you what sites you like here uh, what you got out of this video so on the left here is that cut over to 43 44 45 our top picks and this site is 25 that's the site number 25 so that 
get you all the way through this long campground make sure you're subscribed um, so you don't miss any more of these drops uh, make sure you check the next video we're going down to lower bumping campground which is probably about a thousand feet away from this so if you like this one make sure you hit that next video we'll put a link up when it gets posted and uh, as always we'll see you in the next video